I go to Victor Tuasin to Victoria. I've gone from Horseshoe Bay to Nanaimo, but never this way. So yeah, it'll be kind of interesting. I hope to get some uh, good pictures. Uh, I've got my uh, Canon SLR with me. Well, got to put my seatbelt on. And uh, it looks like it's going to be a great day. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. So, uh, I'm you lost the boat? Yeah, I'm off the boat. Yeah, I just uh, pulled into town a little bit. I'm just on Wallace and Comet. I uh, just stopped in at the uh, stop in at Tim Hortons. And... You know the expression down island, up island? Well, uh, I'm up, uh, I'm up on, uh, on the north. Okay. There's a whole bunch of shopping malls here, and there's another Tim Hortons here. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. Come on in. Yeah, I should put the stool up, right? Yeah. You got it? Oh. You got one of these crash birds. We're good. Oh, of course. <laughs> I use that thing myself. 
Huh? I use it myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, video tip. We have a guest this morning. Jeffy Bear. Hey! Yep. Jeffy's going to join me for my Sunday waffle breakfast. I have every Sunday. <coughs> Actually, for the last seven years. Really? Yeah. The only times I missed it is when I was in the hospital. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a good night? Yeah, morning's a little rough, but yeah. night was good. Oh, well, I mean, uh, that's why my daughter's birthday today. Oh, okay. So, I, before I went to bed, because we were three hours early, I wished her happy birthday so I was the first one. Yeah, that's good. And, and then when I got up, she thanked me, and then uh, I called her, left a message, and then I got another message from her. He's not a part of my, well, he's not blood relative, but my last girlfriend, her cousin, uh, I guess he's, in, he's on life support for the past 10 days, so his wife called me up and said, hey, Jeff, I said, okay. Dealt, well, I just dealt with that. It's just like a little, because I can't go to see them in the yeah, States, so yeah. I would have been by now. Good coffee? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I didn't know if you took too much sugar. Here, you can come over here. Holy jeez. Yeah, I seen that yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it's folds over. Yeah. yeah, 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 that's, yeah. that's cool. I pre-made the coffee, so it's so hot. I was up at 10 to 7. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, I better get over there. Hope I hope you weren't waiting too long. Oh, no, no. I, this Ginger was sleeping, right? Yeah. She, she came and said hello. I don't know if you saw her. Yeah, I did. But she crawled right by me. Yeah. So. Nice and cozy in here, man. And I like what you did to that. That's like an old barn door. I love that. Yeah, that's uh, I have to. um make it into like a, a cat door opening like I keep the door cracked just yeah. getting her used to it. so I'm going to cut then an opening in yeah. so she can go in and out and then and after you don't lose so much heat either. yeah then afterwards I'm going to put a flapping do cat door in okay so she just uh, you have to train her right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, uh, these are your new gonna, cups you're talking about yeah oh that's nice yeah. Well, I'm in uh, Van City Van Life's uh, workshop uh, for Chrome. He's allowed uh, Jeffy Bear and myself to work on his uh, vehicle. So there it's all ready for us to go. We'll do a little tour. There's his e-bike he got. And there's Jeffy Bear working on his phone. Hello. And uh, Van City Van Life, big sticker in the back. I kind of like that. It's a quite nice laid out shop right now. And Chrome lots, a lot of the van lifers use it. And there's Chrome's ambulance. And then we're gonna go start working on Jeffy Bear's vehicle. Uh, Jeffy Bear said he was having some electrical issues. So the first thing I always check is the uh, chassis ground. And I found a few issues, so I'm gonna remove the battery and clean up all the uh, chassis ground connections first before I add anything new into the system. Otherwise you might be chasing your tail and looking for a problem that uh, you think was a new system but it's 
already with an existing issue. As I'm working on the vehicle cleaning the ground connections, I'm showing Jeffy Bear what to look for, what's bad, what's good, giving him some advice. I'm also removing this old battery isolator and I'll be replacing that one with the new Renogy uh, 40 amp DC to DC battery uh, charger. So uh, that's what we're going to do around here. That's the first thing I'm doing today and tomorrow I will be installing his new diesel heater. Okay, I'm just uh, redoing a couple connectors on here. On the fuse block itself, I just pulled on the ground wire and it came off. And then I noticed on this ground lead that um, when I touched it, it, the wire would move inside. And when I opened it up, the wrong size gauge of uh, connector was used. So it probably was like a four and it should have been an eight. So I cut it off, I put the new one on and it's nice and solid and properly crimped. If you can see there, I'll zoom in and I'll be heat shrinking it now. So that'll be good on that one. So I think that's all the issues he had before. So now then we can work on the other problems to make sure everything is okay. Susie going crazy over a duck foot. He sure loves that. While installing the Renogy uh, 40 amp DC to DC uh, charger, would have been nice if they uh, included some 18 gauge wire to hook up to accessory. I also plan to put in a delay uh, relay to delay at least five seconds that so when the vehicle starts, you uh, start charging your house batteries in about five second delay so you don't put in all extra uh, work on your alternator before the vehicle warms up or the alternator starts turning at full speed. Okay. It's a whole herring. Well, uh, well, okay, a whole herring. Guts and all. Oh, and you like that, Cruzy? Yep. Yeah. See you later. I'm gonna go over my little puppy bed and eat my fish. <laughs> Chew its head off. <laughs> hey, Wayne, work to the wife. Don't sit on that bed couch. <laughs> 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 He chew his head off? That's yeah. The first thing to go. Yeah, yeah. Every time. Well, he doesn't want to look at it eating it, right? Just sort of scuff. Well, I've got the uh, DC to DC converter mounted in Jeffy's van. And it's on the back. And inside here, he's got a whole mess of stuff. Uh, <laughs> we've just talked about it and we're going to, I'm going to redesign and redraw everything out and make him a new cabinet. Uh, to fit everything in. I'll be using also uh, braided uh, cable for 4 gauge and 6 gauge required. Braided is really nice. It uh, moves easy. Uh, the one cable I put in is braided. It's got a lot of flexibility and I'm going to build where his batteries are. I'm going to build a shelf with sliders so when he changes his batteries from lead acid to lithium you can just slide the batteries out, put them back in if he wants to do any maintenance or check-in. It's easy to get it done. So we're going to rewire all that, rewire his panel. But now that I have a better look at everything that's needed, I can uh, have a better idea of what I have to build and what I have to bring. So we're going to redo the whole thing and it'll uh, make it a lot nicer. His power bar spar will be actually down on the bottom because we don't need to have 16 cables coming up to the top. So yeah, that's my plan for the future. With the new DC to DC charger installed, tomorrow I'll deal with installing Jeffy Bear's new diesel heater. And uh, we'll get him some heat again in his van. I want to thank Chrome from Van City Van Life.
for uh, the ability for Jeffy and I to use this uh, shop. It was a great help, and uh, thank you again very much. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have, let me know and hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. Thanks.